answers, Father, be silent in the grave in Jesus Christ's name. I ask, Father, that you let the lying lips be put to silence that speak against me, that speak against your children and the persecuted lambs, which speak grievous things proudly and contentiously against the righteous and against us as your righteous lambs and as your righteous people and as your children, Father God, and against me as your child in Jesus Christ's name, Father. Oh, how great is your goodness, Father God, which you have laid for the persecuted lambs and your children and for me that fear you, Father God, which you have wrought for me and your children and the persecuted lambs that trust in you, Father God, before the sons of men. Father, I thank you that you shall hide myself and your children and the persecuted lambs in the secret of your presence from the pride of man and that you shall keep myself and your children and the persecuted lambs secretly in a pavilion from the strife of tongues, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, Father God. Blessed be you, Lord, for you have showed me and your children and the persecuted lambs your marvelous kindness in a strong city, Father. Father God, for I, myself, and your children and the persecuted lambs said in our haste, Father God, that we are cut off from before your eyes. Nevertheless, Father God, nevertheless, you heard us the voice of my supplications, the voice of your children and the persecuted lambs when we cried unto you, Father God. Oh, Father God, love you, Lord. We love you, Father God. I love you. Your children and the persecuted lambs love you, Lord. Let us love you, Father God, all ye his saints, all the saints and your people and the persecuted lambs. We love you. And I love you as your saint, Father God, as your child. But you, Lord, preserve it, the faithful, that you preserve it, the faithful lambs and your children, Father God, and myself as I be faithful. Father God, and plentifully rewarded the proud doer that rise up against your people, that rises up against the lambs, Father God, the persecuted lambs and your children and myself through these modern day slavery programs. Father, I thank you that I, myself, and your children, Father God, we be of good courage, that you are helping us to be in good courage. And Father God, you shall strengthen your our hearts, not your heart. Father, you shall strengthen the hearts of your children and the persecuted lambs in my heart, Father God, and all your people and your children and myself that hope in you, Lord. And we put our hope in you, Jehovah Yah, and our hope in Jesus. I put my hope in you, Jesus. I put my hope in you, Jehovah Yah, my Father in heaven. I put my faith in you. I hope because you are our hope and you are our peace and our strength and our deliverer. And I thank you, Father God, that your word is done in the lives of all your children and the persecuted lambs in my life that are being persecuted by persecutors through these modern day slavery programs of all types all over the world, Father God, all over America, all over Canada, all over Israel, Father God, and all 12 all many nations of all nations of this earth, Father God, and seven continents on this earth, Father, in Jesus Christ's name, Father. I thank you that Psalm 31 verses 1 through 24 is done in the lives of your children and the persecuted lambs from children to adults in, in my life, Father God, everywhere in this world that's being afflicted and persecuted by their persecutors through these different types of modern day slavery programs everywhere in the world. Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, Father, I ask I see you will cover and seal this prayer with the blood of Jesus Christ, Father God, and that you will cover this episode and podcast, my podcast is sprinkled with the blood of Jesus Christ in Jesus Christ's name. And Father God, I pray that you will cover all the persecuted lambs from children to a adults and your children and myself with the blood of Jesus Christ from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet in Jesus Christ's name, Father God. I thank you for helping myself and your children and the persecuted lambs everywhere in the world, no matter how much they're being persecuted and afflicted by their persecutors, to be of good courage and to trust in you, to trust in Jesus, to trust in Jesus because Jesus is reliable and faithful. He will never let us down. He will never let you down, O oh precious lambs, and he will never let me down. Father God, I thank you for helping myself to be of good courage and cheer, Father God, and to trust in you because you are our hope.
You are our only hope, Father God. I give you glory and honor to you alone, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name, amen, Father God. Hallelujah, Father God. Glory be unto you, Father God. Thank you for doing miracles so great in the lives of all the persecuted lambs everywhere in this world. And your children and myself, Father God, this year of 2020. In Jesus Christ's name, a deliverance, a breakthrough, Father. A bonanzas and shaloms, Father God. Carmel's, your God suddenly is in our lives, Father God. For he delivered us speedily, Father God, this year of 2020. In Jesus Christ's name, from all bondage and all evil persecutors and perpetrators that come against us, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name, against all oppressors that you are delivering us out of the hand of the devil into the hand of your son, Jesus Christ, out of the hand of the oppressor, the devil, into the hand of your son, Jesus Christ, in the hand of your secure hand. Father, you are our security. You are our fighter and our warrior, Father God, victorious fighter, and you are fighting our battles for us. As we hold our peace and trust in you, Father God, you're fighting our battles from all this unjust, wicked stuff that happens to us in Jesus Christ's name, Father. So I give you glory and honor to you, Father, in Jesus Christ's name for what you're doing in my life and the lives of all the persecuted lambs and your children. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.
inside.